Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Okay, it's T. So in this video, I'm just gonna make a like a Drake type beat, um, and uh, I got all these sounds pulled up. So let's see what they are real quick. I got this Omnisphere patch. And I got the snare, kick, and so on. We're not going to use all these sounds. Um, definitely not going to use all those sounds, but <clears throat> let's open up piano roll. Okay, we're not going to go that high. <laughs> let's play a chord on our keyboard. And our Omnisphere, I'm pretty sure, is in 432. Let's click in here. Yeah, our master tuning's in 432 in system tab. Okay, so let's go back. Play that for two bars. Yeah, it's two bars. Okay, so let's uh, turn our velocity up. That's what's going on here. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, wrong button. Okay. And the patch we're using real quick, guys, is String Machine's Female Vox. And I cut it off a lot. You know, more than half. And that's all I did. <clears throat> and you can have any synth. Like, pretty much anywhere. It doesn't have to be Omnisphere. It's just really versatile, in my opinion. Let's clone those over. Sorry, I, I accidentally cloned it twice and it was super loud. So we got, what is this, D ma major? Or I'm not even sure that's a, uh, that's in a, that's a major score, uh, scale. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. No, we're using an F root note. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm sure there's a name to it. I just don't know how to name it, to be honest. <laughs> I can learn, but whatever. Music theory is hard to teach, for sure, and it's not in my best interest. I like to make songs. I don't like to uh, teach music theory. So I'm going to drop this down to a D, this last chord over here. And that's going to be pretty much our chord progression, I think. But first of all, let's clone these bottom notes. So we'll just highlight shift and drop those down an octave. So what I did was I control shift to highlight right here with the gold box. And then once those are highlighted, you just hit shift click and then it highlights those or it duplicates those. Then from there on, once those were duplicated, I hit control down and it brought them down an octave. So those are a couple shortcuts um, you can do with the piano roll. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a click it. I'm going to copy this again and send it up three times so we have a high octave and really quick so I'm not confusing anybody so I like these and these and pull the velocity down so we're controlling all those notes that are highlighted red right now that way they're not killing the high frequencies and the low frequencies still might be too much we can pull this up and look at it closer, but we didn't highlight. Let's make sure to highlight. So let's pull those up again.
All right, so we'll mess with the sound later on when we uh, route it. So let's add our kick and our snare on a separate pattern. Let's do pattern three. Um, I don't know why we didn't use pattern one, but it doesn't really matter. So, okay, so let's play this in pattern mode. time um, technically so if we count one two three four <laughs> I didn't even count the four okay one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven so it's a three and the seven and if you don't hear someone do that the counting then it'll totally confuse you You'll be like what are you talking about three and the seven so you just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna uh shift that. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else. Let's see what else we wanna add. Let's go to another pattern, pattern five. Piano roll for this decap sticks. Turn it, let's get this out of the way. All right, let's make sure to turn our velocities back up if you have that down. Let's put that in the playlist, and we definitely don't need that to be that long. That's just Ridiculous, my bad guys, but let's change this to a half beat um, and zoom out. Let's go to C5, which is the default. keep that in as like a little a little percussion pattern I might change this note Let's go to pattern six. So we can add an open 808, or open hi-hat, sorry. It's gonna go on, let's see wh where we're gonna put it. Let's 
let's add our crash in we got right here. Our bat, um, now let's pretend you didn't have this sample right here, a crash, which is this. Let's just make one real quick. So what we're going to do is just pick out a, a, a crash. So I'm going to go to like a different kit. My producer house drums with my cymbals. And let's just make one. So let's open this in a new channel. Okay. Now, what we can do is just hit edit and add it to Edison. But since I'm recording this video with Edison, I'm going to do it a different way. So I'm going to go into like 50, it doesn't matter, and open an Edison. Then. Now that's our sound. Let's make sure. Let's just route it to 50. Um. So I'm just going to route it to 50. You don't have to do this. Um, you can just click edit and it'll bring up an Edison. But I don't want my uh, recording to get cut off or anything. So I'm just going to do whatever, one minute on input. Let's hit record and let's hit C5. And that's our noise right there. So now all we need to do is cut off maybe right where it starts to get too loud, you know, right where it starts to hurt your ears. So let's cut that off. Let's play it. Okay, so let's copy selection. So we're going to copy that. Now it's copied to our clipboard in Edison. Let's hit control V. Make sure I did that right. Maybe I need the <laughs> highlight. Okay, now I hit control. I highlighted control C then control V my bad guys so that was a little confusing then I think we can reverse this okay so let's hit reverse right here and now you can see our sound is starting to line up we can delete you know a little bit in between to try and get it a little closer see how it sounds now So it's close. Now all we gotta do is edit it a little more. We might need to take out that middle. It's kinda hard. You can see it. You can literally see it. Let's just see what happens. We can always revert. So now it just comes down to EQing and effects. So let's add this in. Um, let's go to our Edison, my bad. And hit this button right here. Add to playlist. So that was a little bit of a... That's how you can make your own reverse symbol. And it sounds good, but all, we, all it needs is effects. So let's take that off of 50. And um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is we don't even need this house symbol anymore because we already have what we want. So let's, um, let's actually highlight everything. Um, we're not going to definitely not going to use all these sounds. I just picked them when I first started the beat. Um, just so I could, you know, not have to go through anymore. So I'm just going to route all those. Let's give this an, an EQ. And let's give it a reverb. Convolver. So let's give this a little movement pattern five real quick. Let's go into control and let's go to note pan and let's go over and let's just go left and right with these. With the double ones, I'm going to keep the same. 
If we do it harder, we can hear it. Okay, so it's starting to come along. Let's go to pattern six, add some more. Let's clone this, bring that out. I just want to see what this sounds like real quick. Might have been too much of a cut out. So let's add our 808, pattern 6. It's going to be a real slow, real slow 808. Um, now this one's already tuned to C, so I'm not worried about tuning it. But we do need to worry about tuning it to 432. So um, we can do that later. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I might just try to tune it by ear. Get our pencil. So I'm going to go past pattern four and actually add just like one note. It's a 
um, a track where we're gonna link all of our, our uh, drums. So what I'm gonna do is find all the sounds that are playing, like these, and I'm gonna control shift select. Just select the ones that I see right now playing. And I'm gonna right click down here and route to this track only. And they're all gonna go down through here now. And they route back into the mixer right here. So let's do the same thing to the hi-hat. Now first of all, I wanna add a, uh, let's add a limiter. So it's not punching our ears. Now that snare won't hurt our ears as bad. Okay, now let's add a small reverb. See, that panning makes a big difference. Now, I don't even know how to like get Drake's flow down, to be honest. But it's deep. It would be deep on this song. Um, 
see, that's my problem. I don't know if I can get the flow down on this. But this is pretty much it. Um, you can arrange it and make it sound better and add After Effects. It all comes down to post-mixing or post-production, whatever. We can make it sound a little better adding a Maximus on the master. So... And that just gave me an idea real quick. Let's stereo separate our mids. So left is separating, and you can see in the top left over there. And we centered the mids to clean them up. And let's see what we want to do with our highs. Every song is going to be different, guys. So what I'm going to do, let's create an automation over here. Let's see where we want it actually. Let's just create it in the middle of a verse, like, um, <clears throat> let's say if 29 was, you know, in the middle of our verse, let's, uh, so what I want to do is add a parametric EQ to the master. Grab an automation clip, create automation, and now when it's all the way up, it's on. When it's all the way off, it's off. Or when it's all the way down. Now we can definitely swell that in. I think it would sound better swelling it in. You know, kind of like this. Okay, my computer just literally like geeked out. So this is pretty much it guys, thanks for watching, this is a Drake beat, it's pretty simple. <laughs> if you think this sounds like a Drake beat, give me a thumbs up, if not, thumbs down. <laughs> uh, so thanks, <laughs> peace. Okay, that's our problem, we gotta uh, cut this really quick. We didn't mix it too well, but that wasn't the point of this video. Now the question is what's going on here?
Okay, so I'm just gonna play from the top, um, however long it is. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. Delete some of this. We don't need all of it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Bye.